while passing through the forest, the farmer's donkey got stuck in the mud. The farmer did not understand what to do. Sometimes when a person does not understand something, he takes out his anger on others for no reason. In the same way, the farmer cursed all the people he knew throughout the night. Neither the enemy, nor the friend, nor the king escaped from his tongue because the forest was part of the king's kingdom. Incidentally, the king passed through the forest with his slaves. Heard that a farmer was speaking bad things to the king. Suddenly the farmer's eyes fell on the king. He was very upset that the king heard everything. Now his end will be very bad. At that time the slaves started filling the king's ears. One said, O oh king. Let this person's neck be cut off with a sword because he has insulted your honor. The second slave said, O oh king. Let him be put in prison, because he has not only spoken evil of you, but also of your family. The king looked at the forced farmer, whose donkey was stuck in the mud. The king felt sorry for the farmer's condition. He forgave the farmer's inappropriate words and drank his anger. The king rewarded the farmer and he was honored and given a white horse as a reward. Dear children, We learn from this story that it is true that it is easy to repay evil with evil. But man must respond to evil with good.